Hello everyone, how to solve this radical mass question? Square root down, square root 8 down here, square root 54 plus square root 72 is equal to what? How to simplify this radical mass question? So let's start solution. First of all, I can see easily here, square root, then here is square root 8, I can see easily it will be 4 times 2 over square root 54 it will be square root 2 times 27 2 times 27 it will be 54 plus and here square root 72 it will be square root 2 times 36 now at this moment we know that is square root a v it will be square root a times square root b according to this law i can easily here square root square root 4 times square root 2 then here square root 2 times square root 27 plus square root 2 times square root 36 now at this moment i can see here square root down and square root 4 it will be 2 times and here is square root 2 and it will be <coughs> square root 2 times square root 27 plus and here you can see it will be 6 square root 2 square root 36 it will be 6 so here square root 2 times 6 now at this moment here square root down and it will be 2 square root 2 and here square root 2 is common so i can see here square root 2 is common so this I divide this it will be 6 plus and this I divide this it will be square root 27 now at this moment you can see easily here square root 2 square root 2 is cancel out we are find out here square root down 2 over 6 plus square root 27 now at this moment I can see easily here square root it is a nice math here 2 times I take here is 6 minus square root 27 I multiply this below by this and it is also 6 square root 27 and I multiply this below by this it will be 6 minus square root 27 now at this moment I can see here square root 2 times 6 minus square root 27 and here you can see it will be a plus b times a minus b according to this formula it will a square minus b square here is a is 6 and b is square root 27 so it will be 6 square minus square root 27 a square because of that it is a plus b times a minus b it will be a square minus b square then here square root down to times 6 minus square root 27 it will be square root 9 times 3 and over 36 minus 27 square root is cancelled we'll find out here is 27 now here square root it will be 2 times 6 minus square root 9 it will be 3 and here is square root 3 so square root 27 it will be 3 square root 3 and 36 minus 27 it will be 9 now at this moment I can see really here 2 times 6 or here is 3 square root 3 so I can see really here is 3 is common so it will be square root 2 and here is 3 is common so it will be 2 minus 3 is common so this divide this 3 it will be square root 3 over this 9 it will be 3 times 3 now this 3 this 3 is cancel out i can see that it will be square root down 2 times 2 minus square root 3 over 3 now at this point if i separate this fraction i can see that it will be square root 2 times 2 it will be 4 minus 2 times square root 3 it will be 2 square root 3 over and here is square root 3 now at this moment i can see really here square root 4 it will be 3 minus 2 square root 3 
plus 1 and here is square root 3. 3 plus 1, it will be 4. Now, here, I can see the little v. Square root, I take other snail face. It will be square root. This 3, it will be square root 3 whole square minus 2. A is square root 3 and B is 1 plus 1 is square. Because of that, here is 3, this is 3 squared, it's cancelled. It's 3 and 1 is squared will be 1, so the, here is no change over and it will be square root 3. This here, okay. Then <clears throat> I can see that it will be square root, we know that a square minus 2ab plus v square, it will be a minus v whole square so square root 3 minus 1 whole square over square root 3. now at this moment i consider this square root is cancel is a positive value so it will be square root 3 minus 1 over square root 3. now at this moment you can see really here square root 3 divide this square root 3 minus 1 over square root 3. I separate this fraction. Now, at this moment, you can see that this, this cancel out. We'll find out it will be 1. So, 1 minus 1 over square root 3. Now, at this moment, you can see that here, 1 minus 1 over square root 3 times square root 3 over square root 3. Then here, 1 minus square root 3 over 3. Because of this time, this, it will be 3. This is our final answer in this radical maths question thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care